Kansas State, let's start, let's start with this one. Kansas State's Marquise Noel making the announcement last night that after a spectacular year and an unbelievable run in the NCAA tournament, and yes, I'm sure there will be questions about, you know, can he play at the NBA level? He finds a way. It's a different game. We've seen that. But he has made this commitment to enter the NBA draft. Yeah, he was playing so well. I mean, you at least got to, you know, see where where you're going to be and, and, like, what people think of you and all that. Yeah, I'm, so I'm not surprised. But, again, his, uh, his height is going to be an issue. He is very fast, though. So the guys in, you know, that are his height that have played well in the NBA – have been like he is in super super fast. So, because you have to you have to get around people because you're you're not going through them or you're not going over them. Uh, and so, uh, it'll be interesting to see. He was a really fun player um, for Kansas State, and that was a really great run. And, and you know that that was you know uh, Masood actually entered the transfer portal yesterday, and that's kind of what college basketball is now. I'm curious to see what Coach Tang can do in year two. Uh, and how he he builds the roster again because Keontae Johnson's gone. We know that, so they're they're going to have to rebuild some things. But he already did it. I mean, he came in and rebuilt in a year. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean that's how they got to where they were this year to begin with was the, the transfer portal in so many ways. But uh, yeah, I mean this makes sense even if it doesn't make the most business sense in the long run. Um, but in the short term, yeah, I mean what else is the guy going to do? Come back for a sixth year? I mean, he's already played three years at Little Rock. He played two at Kansas State. And so I think with this last and fifth year, uh, he pretty much proved whatever he needed to. I mean, I don't know how you have an encore that surpasses what he did other than getting back to the exact same point that they were, hitting a shot rather than making a pass probably to win the game, sending yourself to the Final Four, and then what, going even further? I mean, that's the only thing really he could have done to top this season so, yeah, I mean, they were a couple steps short, uh, no pun intended, and they, you know, he was a huge part of, of getting them where they were. So uh, I, I have all the faith in the world that Jerome Tang, you know, already planned for, for probably some of these departures and, and realizes which direction he's going to pivot. They're going to be a hot brand, uh, and he's a popular coach right now. So I think that they'll have no trouble in, you know, luring and getting the support to bring some guys in to, to replenish the ranks. But, yeah, I mean, He's played five years of college basketball. What else are you going to do to to show NBA scouts if that really is your future, what you can do than than what you already did uh, mm -hmm. up to this point, and especially this year? So good luck to him. I do think the height's going to be an issue. I mean, everybody makes a comparison to Pierre Jackson, and how did Pierre Jackson's NBA career go? It went uh, not very well. A couple stints like on basically the G League or the the and had practice great roster. You know, great nights in the G League where he yeah. scored like fifty points, but. It was like, oh, well, that was good for him. Right. So maybe mm -hmm. Noel breaks out of that that comparison and is able to surpass Pierre in that regard. But that's just, you know, when I hear the Pierre Jackson comparisons, that's that's where my mind goes is just compare him along the way. And, uh, yeah, you know, Pierre struggled to get the, the opportunities and stick. Uh, he got opportunities but struggled to stick uh, in the NBA but has had a, you know, great career overseas and whatnot. So, uh, regardless, Noel will be playing basketball, I'd imagine, for a long time somewhere. And maybe it's in the NBA, and if that's the case, then great for him. He is the Deuce Vaughn of Kansas State basketball in a lot of ways. He's the motor that makes them run, although there's others that could do that too for, for K-State football. And now, here's a story that 